Dear brothers and sisters, we know that the mention of the Prophet Joseph in the Holy Quran is detailed, but the Quran does not clearly mention his death and burial. However, in stories it is said that Prophet Joseph was buried in the River Nile. Now the question is why he was buried in the River Nile, and whether his grave is still in the River Nile, or if it is on a piece of land. To all know about this, watch the video until end. A long time ago, about 2,000 years before Jesus, there was a man named Prophet Joseph. Prophet Joseph was born when Prophet Jacob was 92 years old. Your parents had immense love for you. Your mental and natural abilities were prominent and excellent compared to other brothers. That's why your stepbrothers were jealous of you. Because of this jealousy, he was thrown into the well. You were sent to the market of Egypt as a slave. And Aziz Misr's wife imprisoned you. But despite all these difficulties and trials, Prophet Joseph one day reached the position of the powerful ruler of Egypt. When Prophet Joseph achieved success under the authority of Aziz in Egypt, Allah decided to reunite Prophet Joseph with his father and family after a long period. Therefore, Prophet Jacob came to Egypt with his household. They embraced each other tightly and wept tears of joy for a long time. According to the narratives, Prophet Joseph's entire family, including his 11 brothers, their wives, and the grandchildren of Prophet Jacob, all settled in Egypt. The king of Egypt granted them a piece of land where they were allowed to live and prosper. When Prophet Jacob was 147 years old, Allah ordered to capture his soul. So the angel of death took Prophet Jacob's soul. When Prophet Joseph received the news of his father's death, he removed the crown from his head, threw it away, and tore the silk garments on his body into pieces. In a state of deep sorrow, he ran to the lifeless body of his father in the world of sadness. Upon seeing his father's funeral, Prophet Joseph began to cry uncontrollably, and while weeping, he looked towards the sky. Suddenly, the doors of the heavens opened one by one. The spirits of the prophets and the angels came towards the funeral of Prophet Jacob. They bathed Prophet Jacob's body with divine light and buried him in the holy land of Beit al-Maqdis. After performing the funeral prayers for his father, Prophet Joseph returned to his court. He was deeply affected by the separation from his father, and the grief was overwhelming. That night, he went to the banks of the Nile River, secluded himself, and spent the entire night in prayer, until morning came at which time Angel Gabriel descended. He said to Prophet Joseph, O oh Joseph, your father's age has reached its completion, so Allah has called him to himself. However, your time has not come yet. Therefore, continue your worship and adorn this life for the hereafter, because when the time of your death arrives, no delay will be granted. After the passing of his father, Prophet Joseph never wore a crown again, nor did he ever smile. Every night, he would go to the banks of the Nile River, kneeling in prayer and seeking communion with Allah. In this manner, twenty years passed. One night, Prophet Joseph had a dream. He saw his father Jacob and grandfather Isaac were telling him, O oh Joseph, the time for our reunion is near. Within three days, we will meet. On the third day, the angel of death arrived and said to Prophet Joseph, O oh Joseph, your appointed time has come to an end, and your forefathers are waiting for you. Prophet Joseph then bowed his head in submission, and the angel of death took his soul. As Prophet Joseph's soul was departing from his body, his brothers began to weep and lament. When Prophet Joseph passed away, and his funeral procession was carried out, the Egyptians witnessed a remarkable sight. A great commotion and clamor erupted as people from all directions raised cries of sorrow and grief. Now every tribe and group in Egypt desired that Prophet Joseph be buried in their region, so that blessings and goodness would prevail in their community. One group suggested burying Prophet Joseph near the gates of Canaan, while others proposed a different location. But at that moment by the divine intervention, the waters of the Nile River were miraculously stopped and suddenly the Nile dried up. People in Egypt realized that the Prophet Joseph should be buried in the Nile. They believed that because of his body, Neil water will bring bless for them and the people of Egypt could benefit from it. It is mentioned in historical accounts that later on, Prophet Moses is said to have taken the body from that grave and moved it somewhere else. In today's video, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And for more informative and interesting videos, subscribe to our channel.